Ahoy! I get so excited when the sun is out and everything looks nice and bright because it can be quite rare in London. This is my May book haul, so I'm going to show you the books that I got in May. This haul is actually mostly young adult books. I'll start with the non-YA one though, and hilariously, it matches my room very well. It's got the yellow, we've got the leaves, excellent. It is called Stay With Me and is on the Baileys shortlist. It is set in 1980s Nigeria. It's about family, about grief, about love. And this is one of those books that because I saw it come by so many times and because so many people were chatting about it, I really wanted to give it a go. All right, then onto the young adult books or other books that sort of vaguely fit into that genre. First of all, I have Out of Heart. This was sent to me by Hotkey Books and I actually went to a really interesting event which was about diversity in contemporary British books and Irfan was one of the authors that was there so I got to hear him talk a bit about his book and you know his opinions on the general topic which is really interesting. It's the story of a boy whose grandfather passes away and donates his heart to another boy and then that boy gets in touch and Hockey always has the thing in the back that says what the book contains and it contains father slash son graffiti, silence, and connections. Oh, the back, I didn't even realize, is like a connect the numbers to create the shape here, which is a heart. And it also starts with a poem by William Blake. I love when books start with poems, because I feel like it can sometimes help you get into the right mindset of the book, and it's just like a little message from an author to a reader. The next up, there is a book that I saw about on Twitter. I think the day that it came out, and so I went to a shop and got one. And it is called The Fallen Children, They Will Rise by David Owen. This was actually printed in, I think like 300 and 60 colors. So um, the first shop I went to had a blue edition, which I'm actually quite happy with. Now, as you might know, I'm a big fan of John Wyndham, the, what would you call him? Like apocalyptic sci-fi? sci-fi writer? And this is basically a young adult retelling of the Midwich Cuckoos, which I haven't read yet. So I'm thinking this might be a candidate for the End of the World Book Club in combination with the John Wyndham book, and then either you can read both or you can pick one of them. So this might be coming up in a future month. This book is actually set on the Midwich estate, so it's set in an estate, I think, in London. And I think the original Midwich Cuckoos is sort of somehow related to aliens and these weird children that are there here. It talks about um, girls who are pregnant and the babies are growing at an alarming rate, so something peculiar is going on. So yeah, very excited about this. And then onto some space stuff. I love things set in space and I'm on a mission to read lots and lots of it, but I'm really excited that there are more young adult books set in space and I've got two of them. The first one is Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. I think it's already out by Hockey Books. And then the next one is, uh, the title's here, The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James by Walker Books. And this is out in September, so I've got quite a while to go. This is a story of Abel and Naomi stranded together on an abandoned ship in space, and this is a story of Romy, who is the only surviving crew member on a spaceship bound for a new planet. Then she starts communicating with this boy by email. Kind of just want to read lots of young adult books set in space and then do one big roundup and talk about which ones were my favorites. Next up, I have Almost Adulting by Arden Rose. I love Arden, I love watching her videos, and so now that she has a book out, obviously I really wanted a copy. One of my friends works at HarperCollins and sent me this book. So this is a guide to all you need to know to get it together, sort of. I love Arden's sort of tone and voice online, so I'm very excited to see how that ends up in writing. And then finally I have a book that is technically middle grade, I think, and it is Karma and Grit by Sarah Jean Horowitz, and she is actually one of my oldest internet friends, so we became friends in around 2008, and when I studied in the US, I came to visit her and met her for the first time, then she studied in the Netherlands, and so over the years we've managed to see each other for like short chunks of time, and since I saw her last time, she has written a freaking book, and I'm so so excited about this. She's always been obsessed with fairies, so I'm not surprised that um, there are fairies in here. It's Karma and Grit, book one, The Wing Snatchers. And it says on the back, it's about a magician's apprentice, Karma, who knows that there's no such thing as real magic. Basically, the magician that he works for seems to be a fake. And yet, in his heart of hearts, Karma knew that Grit, this little girl, this fairy, he supposed, 
was altogether quite magical. This is really cute because I've met her parents as well. The dedication is for mom and dad, for never laughing at me, for wanting wings of my own. All right, so that is it for my May haul. As always, I'll put links to all the books in the description. Let me know if there's any that you're particularly excited about. You can always follow me on Goodreads at Books and Quills if you want to see what I'm up to. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Doei!